Welcome to Math Habit with Teacher Malu. Okay, so in our previous uh, lessons, video, so pinag-aralan natin yung uh, adding and subtracting integers. So ngayon naman, in this video, pag-aaralan natin ang multiplying and dividing integers. Okay, so let's... Okay, so in multiplying integers, lagi nating tatandaan na whenever we multiply two integers with like signs, the answer is always positive. Kapag nagmumultiply tayo ng dalawang integers na may magkaparehas na sign, ang answer is palaging positive sign. Okay, so positive times positive is equal to positive. Example, 3, positive 3 times positive 5 is equal to positive 15. Or negative times negative is equal to positive pa rin. So since same sign sila, kahit na negative sign sila, as long as same sign sila, ang final answer is positive pa din. For example, negative 2 times negative 9, since same sign sila, so ang answer natin is positive 18. Okay? So, here's another pointer. So, whenever we multiply two integers with unlike signs, the answer is always negative. Kapag naman nagmumultiply tayo ng dalawang integers na may magkaibang sign, ang answer is laging negative. Okay, so paano yun? So, positive times negative, ang sagot is negative. For example, positive 3 times negative 5, may unlike signs sila, kaya ang final answer is negative 15. Or negative times positive is equal to negative. Since unlike sign sila, example, negative 2 times positive 9 is equal to negative 18. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay, here are some other ways that multiplying integers might appear. Okay, so pwede natin ma-encounter yung gantong mga a form. Multiplying with a dot like this one. So 4, that means multiply. 4 times negative 5 or this one, enclosed in parentheses, merong negative 6 and then times negative 3. So, uh, itong mga equations na to is, ang operation should be uh, multiply. Okay? Uh, we have here some few tips. An expression with an even number of negative integers will always produce a positive answer. So, kapag yung ating negative integers sa equation ay even, for example, meron tayong uh, 4 negative integers, 6, uh, 8, 10, and so on. So, it always produce a positive answer. So, kung ang expression naman natin o yung equation natin ay may uh, negative integers na yung bilang is add number, it always produce a negative answer. Okay, for example, this one. We have negative 3 times positive 7 times negative 5 times negative 3. Okay, so meron tayong 3 negative integers, meaning ito ay add numbers. Therefore, so sure na tayo yung answer nito, yung final answer will be negative. Okay, since meron 3 negative integers. So multiply natin from left to right to find the product. We have negative 3 times 7 times negative 5 times negative 3 will be equal to negative 300. 15. Okay, so tandaan kapag ang even ang in negative integers sa isang equations is add number, the answer will always be negative. And and if kung yung mga kung yung negative integers naman are even numbers or merong 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 sa equation, so the answer will always be positive. Okay. Okay, so I have exercises here for you para ma-practice niyo yung um, knowledge niyo in multiplying integers. Okay, so we have here five numbers. Okay, so after answering this problem, you can post your uh, answer below in the comment section and then pag nakita ko yung answer niyo, I will reply with the answer key. Okay, so now let's proceed to division of integers. Okay, so the rule for division is like the rule for multiplication. So, ano yung na-discuss natin previously sa uh, multiplication, yun din yung rule natin na i-apply sa ating division problem. For example, we have here negative 6 divided by negative 2. So, since same sign sila, kaya ang, ang answer is positive 3. Okay, same sign, positive answer. Another uh, problem 6 negative 6 divided by 
positive, positive 6 divided by positive 2 is equal to positive 3. Since same sign, we will be having positive answer. Okay, another one, negative 12 divided by 2 is equal to negative 6. Kasi different sign sila, kaya negative yung final answer. Next is negative is positive 12 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 6. Bakit? Kasi they have different signs, kaya yung sagot nila is negative sign. Okay, so uh, multiplication rule is the same as in division. In div okay, so here are some other ways that dividing integers might appear. Pwedeng ma-encounter nyo itong dividing with a fraction bar. Okay, so we have here uh, equation, division, equation na naka-fraction bar at and with different sign. Same pa rin, i-apply pa rin natin sa kanya yung uh, rule na same sign will give us positive answer and different sign will give us negative answer. Okay, so let's practice our multiplying and dividing integers okay so we have exercises here okay number one we have negative nine times uh, positive three since unlike sign so that will give us negative uh, answer so negative nine times positive three is negative 27 okay number two we have negative three times negative two since uh, uh we have like signs here so that will give us positive Answer. So, parehas yung sign. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Okay, number 3. Meron tayong negative 3 times positive 5 times negative 2. So, since dalawa yung ating negative integers, which is even, kaya ang final answer natin is uh, positive. So, 3 times 5 is 15 times 2 is 30. And then, we have number 4. Negative 4 times negative 2 times negative 3. Since add number yung ating negative integers, so ang final answer natin dito is negative. So 4 times 2 times 4 times 2 is 8 times 3 is 24 and that's negative 24. Okay, number 5, meron tayong negative 15 divided by negative 3. Since same sign, kaya positive 5 ang sagot. And then number 6, we have negative 30 divided by 2. Okay, since unlike sign, kaya ang sagot is negative 15. Okay, so... Ganyan kung paano mag-multiply at mag-divide ng integers. Okay, so laging tandaan, in multiplying and dividing integers, kapag like sign sila, whether it is positive or negative sign, basta like sign sila, the answer will always be positive. And kapag unlike sign naman, magkaiba yung sign na dinidivide at minumultiply, so it will always give us negative integers. So kung add uh, number yung mga negative integers sa ating equation. So, it will always give us negative answer. Kung, pero kung uh, even number yung mga negative integers sa ating equation sa multiplying and dividing integers, so it will give always give us a uh, positive answer. Okay, so that's all for now. I hope natutunan kung paano mag-multiply at mag-divide ng integers. Okay, thank you for watching and See you again next time. Aasahan ko yung mga uh, answers nyo dun sa mga exercises na binibigay ko sa bawat videos na ina-upload natin. Okay, thank you!